Good day, viewers. Once again, I welcome you to the telecast of the Hope on Heavens Reflection, uh, taken from the Hope on Seven devotional, written by our General Vasya, Pastor E. E. Hadiboy. My name is Hakintayo Hujo, the pastor of the Place of Restoration, a parish of Redeemed Christian Church of God, based in North London, in United Kingdom. Um, our topic for today is prosperity without sorrow. And our Bible passage is taken from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, and I read from verses 10 to 18. When you have eaten and have full, then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments his judgments and his statutes which I command you today. Lest when you have eaten and are full and have built houses and dwell in them, and when your herds and your flocks multiply, and your silver and your gold are multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, when your heart is lifted up and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, in which were fairy serpents and scorpions, and thirsty lands where there was no water, who brought water for you out of the flinty rock, who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your fathers did not know, that he might humble you and that he might test you to do you good in the hand. Then you say in your heart, My power and might of my hand have gained me this world. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. And it says, the blessings of the Lord make one rich, and he has no sorrows to it. Now to our reflections. Dear friends, I am sure you are aware that it is not every wealthy person that is living a joyful and fulfilled life. Many rich people that you are envying are actually dissatisfied with the lives and are wishing their wealth could be taken away and replaced with peace and joy. Sorrow and pain are the companions of many wealthy people, and some of them are suffering challenges to their well-being. For many wealthy people, they have now come to the realization that there are so many things in life that money cannot buy. For example, money cannot buy peace, Money cannot buy joy, neither can money buy good health. True friends cannot be bought with money. A happy home or marriage, salvations of one's souls, and many other similar circumstances cannot be bought with money. However, dear friends, please understand that it is possible for God to bless you with wealth and riches and give you the grace and the peace to enjoy them. In our memory verse today, we understand that if God blesses your life, you will have riches and sorrow will not be your companion like it is for the other rich people. The truth is that the power to get wealth is with God. The Almighty God can release into your hands His power and make you wealthy beyond your dreams. Why will God want to give you this power? It is simply because he is interested in the prosperity of his people. According to the book of 3 John verse 2, God wants you to have all-round prosperity. Every blessing he gives you will never have attachments like sorrow, pain, heartache, disgrace, and grief. Why don't you focus on God? Please him in all your ways and let him bless you with his prosperity. Focus on God alone. And I repeat, focus on God alone. 
our key point, stop cutting corners. At God's own time and in God's own way, he will prosper you. I pray that God will prosper you in all your ways in Jesus' name. Um, see you next time. God bless you.